Hi everybody, welcome back to Little Spoon Farm. Today I'm gonna show you how easy it is to make these delicious sourdough sweet potato rolls. So let's get started. The night before you put your dough together, you're gonna to wanna to feed your starter. You can do this in a separate jar, as you see here, or you can mix it right into the bowl that you're gonna actually put your dough in but you wanna make sure you get that fed so it's nice and active and bubbly first thing in the morning. In the morning, when it's time to put your dough together, you're gonna to want to get your sweet potatoes taken care of first. Scrub them really good, poke a few holes on the outside with a fork, and then place them onto a microwave safe plate. I like to put a cup of water in the center while they're cooking in the microwave to keep them nice and moist as they cook. In my microwave, this takes about 10 minutes, but you'll have to see how long yours takes. You just want the fork to be able to pierce through that flesh very easily. Once they are cooked and they've cooled to the touch enough for you to handle them, go ahead and remove all the skins and then you're either going to want to mash them with a fork so they're really nice and smooth or you can use one of these potato ricers like you see here and measure out 300 grams into a bowl and while those sweet potatoes are still warm go ahead and add your butter the butter will melt stir that into the sweet potatoes and it'll also help to start cooling off the sweet potatoes so that we can put our dough together. Now it's time to get the dough mixed. So go ahead and put the sourdough starter into your mixing bowl along with the milk and the egg and use a dough whisk to get that really well combined and smooth. And then you can add your salt and your brown sugar after you've got that mixed in, then you can go ahead and add your sweet potato mixture because that should be cool enough um, at this point. So use that dough whisk to get that all combined really, really well. And then you can add your flour. I like to start the mixture out with my dough whisk because this can be a bit sticky and messy if you just use your hands. So once you can't really stir it anymore using that dough whisk, go ahead and switch over to your hands and you're going to press and squeeze the dough until there's no more dry bits left on the side of the bowl. It's going to seem really dry and like you need to add more liquid, but don't add any more liquid. We're going to cover this and let it rest for one hour so it has time to absorb the liquid and then we'll move on to the next step. After the dough has rested for an hour, turn it out onto your work surface and knead it for about 45 to 60 seconds. You're going to just, you're just trying to get those ingredients incorporated very well together. The dough will start to become somewhat shiny on the outside and you'll start to see the dough kind of uh, tearing around the outside of it. That's just because that gluten hasn't developed yet. And at this point, go ahead, pop that dough back into the bowl, cover it and let it sit on your counter until it has risen by about 75%. The dough has now been sitting out all day. It's been fermenting for about eight or nine hours and it's risen by about 75%. So go ahead and put this into the fridge for overnight and we'll get it out and bake it tomorrow. About three hours before you wanna bake these, you're gonna to want to take the dough out of the fridge and divide it into 12 equal portions. They will weigh about 104 grams a piece. You want to line two baking sheets with parchment paper or you can use a silicone mat and then shape each piece into a roll. So take a piece of dough, flatten it out onto the work surface, and then pull the sides inwards till you go all the way around the dough, flip it over, and then use your hands to turn the dough on the work surface until it forms a ball, and then press it down to where it's more of a disc shape, and put six rolls onto each of the baking sheets spaced a couple of inches apart. Thank you. 
use a clean tea towel or you know something that you have that you can cover these with and let them rise until they're puffy this will usually take a couple of hours so just keep an eye on them and then once they're ready and you can get your oven preheated preheated and ready to bake now that the dough is nice and puffy it's time to get these into an oven that's been preheating at 400 degrees and they need to bake for about 20 to 22 minutes once they have finished baking they will be nice and golden brown on top and you want to transfer them to a cooling rack and while they're still warm i like to put a little butter because oh, there's nothing better than one of these really warm sourdough rolls with butter all over the top so you guys I know that you are going to absolutely love these rolls they are so easy to make it's going to be such a wonderful thing for you to serve to your family and friends during the holidays or just really any time of the year so I really hope you guys enjoy until next time bye